my next guest is one of, well, she's one of the biggest songs of 2004 with Unwritten. And now, 20 years later, Natasha Benningfield's hit back in the charts after featuring in the movie Anyone But You. And then, of course, it goes viral. Well, Natasha joins me now. A good song is a good song. Yes. And it has yes. reached a whole new generation. And they're not just listening to it, Natasha. They're doing it. They're doing it. I like the falling over. Like I the, do. It, I, I love I, all that. You know, I mean, I think because it's from from a rom-com as well. It's got yeah. that drama. And, and the song is like, release your inhibition. So that when I see everyone doing that, that's what I... It it's makes great, me feel happy because it? No. it feels like the message of the song got through, you know? It's just reminding all yeah. of us what a great song that is anyway. Oh, thanks. And like I say, it's it's a completely new generation are, are enjoying it and it's, yeah. it's got a new a new list of life. Yeah. It must be totally. great for you. This yeah. is so good. Oh, I love it. I'm so <laughs> I'm so enjoying it and I think um you know, Sophie Ellis Bexer also said, you like this time around, you can kind of enjoy it a bit more too. Absolutely, I uh, especially so. it's the beginning of your career. Like 20 years ago, it was it was like a lot of lights and a lot of things to take in. And mm. I think uh, now I'm really more like let's let's really enjoy it. Like no, exactly. You know? And you yeah. did mention Sophie, and of course, Murder on the Dance Floor, a whole new lease of life so after that wee yeah. dance in Saltburn. If you know, yeah. you know. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it was hilarious. Yeah. I don't know whether people are doing that necessarily. I think they probably are. Just do an adjusted version <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe a cleaner a cleaner version yeah. but it is it's fantastic but for you i mean life is kind of between here and the us that's how it works yeah yeah um, i have a six-year-old son and um we live in new york and uh yeah we're kind of back and forth but it's great yeah it's it, yeah it's now great. i remember yeah but you correct me if i'm wrong but 20 years ago you said if that was going to be a big giant hit you were going to go to the himalayas is I that did. right yeah so did you ever get there no i didn't well this is an opportunity yeah. now so you know like when you're like if you know like you have these dreams like of course. if it if it gets if it gets in the charts then we'll go to the himalayas and that was me and danielle brisbois who wrote the song of course um yeah. and then we never did like i just got too busy and so yeah we're thinking like someone was asking me like how are we going to celebrate so maybe we should do go to himalayas but maybe we could just find a mountain out here in the don't UK have to or go, something. You don't have to go. You know, all that it's way. it's a lot. It's a long way to go. But it is a, it is a thing to yeah. celebrate, and as you said yeah. quite rightly, you're in a much better place to enjoy it because when you're younger, it's actually quite scary. It can yeah. get, it can actually get and we've, a lot you've of artists. Seen, have you've this. seen so many people coming through here. Yeah, and yeah. I see them getting overwhelmed yeah. sometimes mm -hmm. and not handling yeah. it particularly well because yeah. there wasn't as much help back then as well. I don't think people realised, you know, what... Mental health. <laughs> exactly. You know, they didn't. Yeah. They really genuinely didn't, that people were anxious and, and worried and had all of these concerns. Because of course you would. Of course you would. And, and it's just you see people enjoy. at the beginning of their career, like you have and I have. Like yeah. we've seen people, sometimes they make it, sometimes they don't. Mm. And, but it is amazing when you see those success stories of people, you know, like the hopeful dreams and then it, I know. it kind of makes you believe in good things. No, it does. You know? It does. And I mean, um, the, the thing is, you're still doing what you do and yeah. still loving it. Do you yeah. enjoy it more now? I mean, I know you said you enjoy the success of this single, but generally just, you know, writing songs, creating music, all of that. Yeah, I'm enjoying being experienced. Like, I'm enjoying that right. I've been through the ups and downs. Like Joni Mitchell, you know, looked at life from both sides. I know. Like, and you so, look a wee bit like Joni. Oh, that would be cool. If they do I a movie so on Joni Mitchell's life, you should be it. Oh, that would be cool. I That's think good. so. Did well, you see her, her songwriting? Hammies, is amazing. She, it was brilliant. so amazing. Yeah, and I love that they celebrated, you know, just the different eras of music exactly and, um she's such a legend so um yeah but um it's yeah it's it, it's amazing it's music fantastic. does that it's something that you can really talk about real things that you've gone through so when like now that i've been more experienced i can i can really like when i wrote unwritten i didn't know how much how like that would apply to me now and i actually mm. have to kind of try and live by it <laughs> oh, that's true yeah. that's very true and you've got a wee boy now he wasn't yeah. very well is he all right now is yeah he okay? so when he was two he he was in hospital for five weeks and he oh, had geez. a brain surgery uh for Ooh, just a, a, a random spontaneous abscess but he's he, like they're so good he's and, so and he's, cute yeah he's six now Gosh. running around like crazy and i have to keep reminding myself that like yeah, that was that was a really a oh, moment. that'd be a hard, hard time. Yeah. He's absolutely fine now, which is great. He's great. And does yeah. he like the song? He loves the song. Good. Yeah, I'm at, I'm at that lucky stage where your kid loves you. They're still in love with you. You know, your son. Like, he's <laughs> in love with you. But I love him. He's, of course, he, of course. He, yeah. I'll tell you what. You're really, really fit. Oh, we've got thanks. some footage of you doing. You're doing this kind of back bend. Yeah. Is this? Do you do yoga and stuff and Pilates and all? Look at that. Oh, yeah. I've been hospital. Yeah, that was... I've been hospital. I've been tracked. Yeah, that was a month ago. Wow. Um, yeah, I'm bendy. How <laughs> do you do that? I, I do yoga. I, I, yoga. I do yoga and I discovered it about... Um, 
maybe seven years ago and it, it just changed my life and I, I realized that you know like when people are taking pictures of you you hold your stomach in yes like that oh, yes. I was always doing that and I wouldn't breathe and, and I, <laughs> when I started doing yoga it taught me to to breathe and I actually came across better you know right. actually you don't have to suck your stomach in no that's you wonderful know? I mean I'm, I'm um, in awe of that to be fair I'm definitely no. in awe look enjoy Thank enjoy you. everything, Thank enjoy you. it all. And it's, I, I love the fact that movies are, are using cracking songs. Yeah. And like I said, a new, a whole new generation. Are a new generation. Yeah, and the song is written for, um, for, it was written for like, what would I want to know when I was a 14 year old? So it's kind of great that that, that age group seems to keep exactly. uh, gravitating to it. Exactly. Yeah. Thank you, that was great Thank to you. see you. You too. Thank you so, so much. Yeah.